Bill and Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome to another great day here. Next, Elijah the prophet was a prophet of preparation. He himself was being prepared by God for greater things ahead. You've got to believe it. You and I are in the hands of the potter, being prepared for greater things. So let's continue to yield ourselves to him. Trusting that he who has begun a good work in you and I will continue it and complete it. We believe there's exciting times ahead for those that are the prophetic people. Like the tribe of Issachar, they knew the times they were living in. Things are changing before our very eyes. Remember Elijah was down at the brook Shereth. God had commanded the ravens of the air to come morning and night and feed him and he would drink of the running brook and certainly he was enjoying the company of Jehovah Jireh the Lord who provides and El Shaddai the God who was more than enough suddenly the brook dried up the very prophecy that he gave to Ahab the king he now was in the very midst of it. I believe that one of the secrets of life is to be content when you are abounding and to be content when you are abased and to keep on praising God. We can live for a while without food, but when the water supply dries up, it's just a matter of days. Rosalie and I have found that over the years, many times, our brook has dried up and when it has we've recognized the fact there are changes ahead and we've really had to wait on the Lord for further directions maybe today your brook has dried up and maybe also that your spiritual life has dried up but don't turn away from God but turn to him and trust him in the tough times Revive yourself in His Word, knowing that God has plans for you for good and not for evil. Bring you a hope and a future. Praise God. Lift up your heart, lift up your hands and believe that the best is yet to come. God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. But He keeps on taking us from victory to victory from faith to faith, from glory to glory, as by the Spirit of the Lord. Remember when one door closes or has been slammed in your face. Lift up your heart, lift up your eyes, look around, look for that window of opportunity. Get ready to change for new direction, new challenges. Just keep waiting on the Lord but God acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Back to Elijah, 1 Kings 17, verse 8. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, When God's word comes to you, he has something to say to you. And he said to Elijah, Arise and go to Zarephath and dwell there. See. I have commanded a widow woman to provide for you there. He arose and went. Elijah was sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let's all be sensitive to what God is saying to us and be obedient to his word. And when we do, we'll witness the mighty power of God and see his miracles, for he has commanded good things for you. Remember, Elijah had to rise up from where he was sitting and waiting. Then he went. And after he did, all the miracles and provision of God happened. Jesus said, if you can receive it, John the Baptist was the Elijah to come. Let me say a few words about John the Baptist. In Luke chapter 1, it says, 
He'll be filled with the Holy Spirit while still in his mother's womb. He will turn many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to make ready for the Lord a people that's prepared. Elijah was being prepared in the wilderness for the great and mighty things ahead of him. You and I might be still in the wilderness, but remember, God is at work. In Luke chapter 3 it says, The word of the Lord came to John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. Notice where John was? He was in the wilderness and he went into all the region around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it was written in the book of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough ways smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. We're living in exciting times. Let's all be a part of it. God bless you. I want you to have a great week.